Rory McIlroy's next up for Europe, playing number two against Stuart Sink. Another very tough match. Sink's been one of the American stars this week. Sink, of course, unbeaten. He's had a couple of halves and uh, also won one of the games that were played. And uh, he was, at the beginning of the week, putting particularly well. And I think uh, Corey Pavin looking for something special from Sink today to dampen down the enthusiasm, the boyish enthusiasm of 21-year-old uh, Rory McIlroy. There's a cockiness about him which you've got to have you're bound to have at that age but it's a pleasing cockiness it right, is. isn't it he's, he's a very likeable lad always has been and he is without doubt the best young player in the world he's 21 years old loved by the fans and thriving in this unique Ryder Cup atmosphere it certainly is unique. I mean, uh, you could easily take fright, but McElroy won't. The weather conditions down in the River Valley, that the fog will thicken just momentarily, and then it will burn off. It's going to be a, a very nice day, in fact. On team representing the United States of America, Stuart Singh. I'm a little bit surprised that they're letting them drive here because uh, just the shot we had from behind it here it didn't look as if uh, they can see the landing area but obviously they, they can see enough to, to hit their tee shots seems thicker now than it was when they were scheduled to go off but uh, clearly they know what they're doing that he's got a job to do. He's got a job to do for the American team against this young fellow. Sink, the world number 35, but remember Sink, 2009 Open champion, no pushover. This is a three iron in the cold conditions. He's got this one going right of the hole. It better get up. I don't think it's going to carry. Didn't carry by some much, and he's on the tongue of the bunker. He's not in sand, so in some rough. It's just a nice full forearm for McElroy, and I think it's imperative that he gets off to a good start. If he lets Sink get in front of him, I think Sink will be very difficult to beat, so McElroy is going to be forced to play hard early. This one's going right at the pin. It looks like it has enough Big to get there. Come on, Laura! Beautiful shot by the youngster. I say youngster, 21 years old. He's got an old head on the shoulders. Sink at the first. He's got pretty good lie, so uh, should be able to get it reasonably close. Oh, and he's played a beauty. Absolute beauty. Rory McElroy, of course, has the chance to win the hole if he can roll this putt in at the first for a birdie. Yeah. I thought for a moment it wasn't going to get there. He's won up on sink right away. That's the perfect start for McElroy because he's not putted that well, and that will give him a huge boost of confidence that he can read the lines and get the pace of the greens. 
sink at the second. Well out of range, this, uh, this power five. Third shot. It's so many little runoffs on this course. He's gone down into a deep swale, and that's also going to be difficult for him. Even for McElroy, the second out of range on his third. going to even uh, contemplate hitting that down into the same swale. Same problem for Sink that Westwood had on the previous hole. Coming up a steep slope, then the green goes away. And if he'd under hit that, he could have had that coming back to his feet. Chance for McElroy to go two up. Sink then for the half. It's for his par. Ooh. Well, Monty wanted a fast start from the players at the top of the order. He certainly got it from Rory. Two up after two. Assuming he knocks this one in, of course, which I'd kind of given him, really. I'm sure Sink will want to see it in. Gets his power, and the power is good enough to put him two up on uh, Stuart Sink. It'll be a very easy six iron here for McElroy. May even gone with the seven. Oh, that's a very good shot. And he is off to a fly. Think to try and get inside the, the ball of McElroy. Oh, oh that's a beautiful shot from Sink. Well, McElroy will be first to putt. He's going to have a putt that's going to break from right to left. Probably about two balls outside the right. Balls outside the right, just feed it down the hill a little bit. Oh. Chance for Sink to get one back though at the third. That's for Birdie. Ah, oh, well done. That's a good win for Stuart Sink after losing the opening two holes. I'm sure Sink has made more twos in the Ryder Cup than any other player. Normally when a man makes a two, you know that his iron play is pretty good. Long tee shot for McElroy at the fourth. Playing his second here, just from the light semi to this back pin. Make sure this doesn't fly on him. May have been expecting that to come out a little bit quick, so... Bit of caution shown by McElroy, it's not too bad. McElroy on the green. Sink playing his second. Oh, that's a wonderful shot in from 170 yards and displaying the iron play that we saw on the par three. He really is on excellent form in this Ryder Cup match. Let's uh, see how. Rory gets on at four. That's for a buddy. Oh, he's got this one running at it and running past. So, uh, Stuart Sink after that fine iron is this to win the hole at four and get back to all square. Great recovery by the American after losing the opening two holes to Rory McElroy. Yeah. 
sink from 182, a little bit of an elevated position over this green. He's going to take an nine iron. Excuse me, that's an eight. He's going to play it off this back mound and hopefully spin it back down to the hill. Nine would have brought the bank into play. Ooh, dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, he was lucky there. He was lucky there. McElroy with a beautiful lie in this bunker. Not going to be an issue at all. 117. This is just a nice little smooth wedge. Look for him to get it close from here. Oh, he's hit that fat. Right into the reeds, into the water. So it looks as if he's going to lose three holes in a row. This has got to go in, you would think, for McElroy. Playing his fourth over the water. Not a lot of green to work with. That's a good shot. There's been Sink will have two putts to win the hole. He's got two for it, uh, Sink here, out the fifth. That's good enough, I'm sure. He'll be conceded that. And from having been uh, two up, Rory McIlroy finds himself one down through five. No halves in this hole, in this match yet. Two good tee shots. McElroy and Sink, pretty much the same distance to the flag. Sink to go first. It's just a little chippy seven iron. So if we're sink here, went uh, Dougie, now there's a chance for McElroy to get inside him, get it close by the stick. Yeah, it's won the first two holes already to go two up, and well, he's managed to lose the next three, but he's got a cracker here, pin today on that little ball in the middle tier of the sixth green, and that's a good shot from McElroy. We'll think he has to put up a little bit of a ridge and then the ball will fall down into this bowl where the hole's located. Not a lot of break at first and then it'll go right to left gently. It is downhill in the second two thirds of this putt so it can be a little bit quick and McElroy's on the exact same line so he's gonna be an interested observer here. Good effort by Sink. There's not a lot of break in this, but you wouldn't want to give the hole away. Slightly downhill, the greens are starting to lose their moisture, so they're going to pick up a little bit of speed about this time of the day. Yeah, he held that one well, didn't he? That was a really good putt to make, having lost the two up lead and gone down to fight back straight away bounce back and get the win to make it all square this is going to be a real tussle McElroy with four and 219 yards back there glorious shot because we're going to join Sink on the seventh. Also with a four iron, absolutely no wind right now. There's a little bit of a false edge to the green, just right of the hole, so you have to be careful not to miss it right. With McElroy in there close, you have to take dead aim. Go, Rory. Go, Rory. Good enough shot. But the Europeans' uh, shot is better. Sink for a two here on the seventh, par three. Rory inside the American. Turn quite a lot from left to right, just lacking the pace, otherwise it would have gone in. This is a chance for McElroy to win the hole, this for a two. Oh. I suppose he didn't get the line right. That's all it's going to have between these two. Okay. 
198. He laid off off the two for three wood. This is a tough shot to a little back shelf. Well, it's got it back far enough anyway. It's on the back shelf. It's uh, quite a little bit from the, the pin, but uh, good shot from McElroy, nevertheless. Sink elected hit driver short in the hole quite a bit. 171. This seven iron should take going over the green out of play. He can be aggressive. There's five yards behind the pin. No way he'll hit this over the green with a seven. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Wonderful shot from Sink again. Puts the pressure on McElroy. this putt you have to think he needs to make it to tie and have a good foot of break from the right on this putt this putt for sink is just a right center don't give the whole way nice and firm couldn't have placed it in a better position and if he makes this it'll be through eight holes there's only been one half and that was at the seventh it's been an incredible match both players well under par. Absolutely reliable. Stuart Sink goes one up again on uh, the 21-year-old Austin and Rory McElroy. This is Stuart Sink, though, playing third shot to the ninth. Just when you think these guys can't make mistakes, they're just throwing the odd curve ball, and you think, oh, that's, where did that one come from? Michael Roy at nine. Just a sand iron in. A little over 100 yards, and that's a good shot. Had a much better angle coming into the par five than Stuart Sink. So a slight advantage to the man from Northern Ireland. Lovely touch. Lovely touch. One of the beauties is, is just watching, whether it be a European or an American, playing these shots. They play them so beautifully. But Michael Roy has a chance to square the match here at nine. This for a four at the par five. Started off in fantastic form. Rory McElroy smacked in a couple of early putts, but since then this game has settled down to being a, a real contest. Anything about 20 feet short of the hole is a good shot here. Back to the tenth for McElroy's tee shot. Today, way up and right, and both Michael Roy and Sink. And a similar putt. Good, good attempt by Rory McElroy at ten. As against that, you don't want to. Keep all your best players for the back end. I, I, I think Colin Montgomery admitted he was surprised to see numbers one and two in the world, Woods and Mickelson, playing at eight and ten. Sink here has a putt. Pretty similar type of line to what McElroy had a little while ago. It is going to break a little bit less from right to left than what McElroy's did. It's nice to see someone putt ahead of you that has a similar putt, one of their long putts, it gives you a feel for the pace. Two pars at ten. It's 
Stuart Sink stays one up on Rory McIlroy in the second match. 273, 248 to the front edge. If he really nails it, he can get it on the front part of the green. McElroy has driven it in the right rough. He's got a terrible lot. He's only going to be able to lay it up. He really has been one of the strong men for the U.S. this week, Stuart Sink. Hundred and three yards for McElroy. Tough little hole location, but he's got to attack it with on the green. Oh, he nearly. The sink on the green. He had to shoot at it. What a great shot. Hit the flag for the same money. Could have jammed against the flag stick and gone in. Great golf. Ryder Cup golf. We've come to expect this. Sink was on the green in two here, and uh, he can pop this in for an eagle at the 11th. And uh, well, the way Sink puts, that should be good for the birdie. Michael Roy then for his uh, birdie four here. Sink lying handy for a four. Yeah. He's hold it. That's a good putt to hold with Sink lying where he was. Good up and down for off the green for uh, Rory McIlroy after having been in trouble. Sink has 157. Both players perfectly positioned in the fairway. Opening then for McElroy. Pin locations very tight today. They really have tucked them away. McElroy from 154. This is just a perfect full nine iron. He can just unload on it. Any he hits it past the hole because he's hitting it so hard will spin back. Sink in the bunker. A chance to square this one up. shot from uh, Rory McElroy. Yeah, just mark me down for a three. Don't think I'll need the putter. Well, Sink, however, has got to hold this bunker shot to get a half at the 12th and stay one up. Oh, he's pressing a great effort. What a great effort. <laughs> We've never seen a bad bunker shot. Well, maybe one of a very bad lie. But uh, most of the bunker shots we've seen this week in the Ryder Cup have been perfect, right up at the hole. 185 here today. A pin is almost looks like it's out on an island. It's all water, a bank in front. Not much green to work with. Six iron is the club. Seven iron is not quite enough. This needs to get up. It's going to come up short. Hold on, hold on, hold on just went back in the water. He's about uh, two feet away from Lee Westwood's ball. That's just a mistake you can't make, especially when you have honors on the tee. You've got to put it on the ground, make your opponent play. He's got a lot of club in his hand. I'm very surprised. It actually looks like a four iron. opponent in the water. Stuart Sink with two putts to go, one up again on Rory McIlroy. That'll do. So McIlroy having got it back to all square at 12, puts it in the water at 13.
Yep. I think we won't have to pull his putt. And Michael Roy goes one down again. Stuart Sink, one up. What a cracking match that's been. Sink. This is such a tough hole, this 14th. Four! 485 yards, and that's gone left. Oh, Rory needs a, a good one away here. Opponent in trouble, left. Seems to have pulled a reasonable lie. You're right, Doogie. Perfect lie. 198. Couldn't have set it down any better, but he has this one going long and right. It's just a chippy little seven iron here for McElroy. No wind at all. This one's going a little bit left, but it's going to be on the green. Yeah. Oh, going down, that going down the slope, it stayed up the hill. Can't believe it. Sink still one up uh, as his third shot at the 14th. Shot. From the top of the hill, a lot of break from left to right as it goes down towards the hole for the hole. McElroy. I couldn't judge that one well at all. Well, this is real match play situation here. Sink was in the bunker. Makes his four, and now Rory has got a similar length putt for the half. I know McElroy at 14 has to avoid going two down by holding this. Yeah! So just one hole in it, four holes to play. It's about 2.30 uphill to the front edge. I don't think he can get anywhere near the hole with this club. That's a terrific blow. He's got it on the front edge and it's looking better and better for him. Just a few feet further and that would have just taken the downslope and been almost stone dead. Montgomery was on the previous green, gave words of encouragement. Everyone knows how important this is. McElroy needs to make a comeback to solidify things for Europe. Well, not looking good for the Europeans in the top four matches at the moment. Good life from McElroy, plenty of green to work with. The ball should feed right down to the pin from this position. Played it really well, didn't it? Up to 15 and Stuart Sink. This for an eagle to win the hole and go. Two up, three to play. for birdie and uh, McElroy I'm not sure if the putt has been conceded but he's very close well this is to half sink to stay one up oh my goodness oh. what happened there Corey Pavin may well be asking himself strange things happen coming down the stretch in the Ryder Cup well, what a lead off there for McElroy. He's all square now in match two. This though is sink down the hill on 16. Match all square. 
Just over 200 yards. Plays more like 190. Good shot. There's nothing wrong with that. Rory McElroy on the 16th green, but a long way from the hole. Misread that completely. Things looking good for Sink to go one up. Meanwhile, Sink has a chance to win the 16th against uh, McElroy. Well, he gave that a good rap, you know, to get it up the hill. Still didn't get it to the hole. It's a tap and par for him. But McElroy will need to pull on all his resources to get a half there. Vital putt for half. That's to stay all square. Yes! First putt was poor, second putt was terrific. It's, uh, it, it's all out there to play for. 196 downhill. This is just a nice smooth six iron for McElroy. Ideally, you'd be pin high right, so you have an uphill putt. Bit of adrenaline, maybe. Not ideally against the, the cushion there. Sink aiming left. He's taking this pin on. Been a pretty good uh, hole for him, hasn't it? Uh, oh, some pretty useful putts on this uh, green in uh, earlier sessions. Well, he's aiming right at the left edge of the green, like he's going to try and land it left of the hole and hit it right next to it. This is going to be a brave play. Oh, he's got it going left. He's in trouble here. Oh, where is this going to end up? Oh, my goodness. This is a bit lucky. Well, a real stroke of good fortune there for Stuart Sink. That wasn't a great tee shot. Looked bunker bound, a rough bound, but he was lucky he got the kick, and now he's got a very short putt for birdie. McElroy has a putter from the left fringe. Who had popped up on him, needs to get up. Well, it's not too bad. Sink is in there close for birdie, though. I think he's going to have to start it just outside the right edge. If he doesn't give the hole away, he won't make it. here Rory if he finds the fairway and he's found it right in the middle so but a pressure now in sync he knows that he'll struggle to reach in two Rory will certainly fancy it so he'll just put a nice smooth swing on this one and just play for position big advantage here for McElroy but it'll be a big gamble with everything on the line Anyway, but he certainly couldn't go for it now. 
even if he wanted and dreamed of going for it. I'm thinking it's even further left than that. Yeah, I'm thinking either tree or black box. I agree. Stuart Sink has driven the left rough, but no problem at all. He's got a very good lie. He's just going to lay it up. And I think McElroy most likely will too. McElroy's right on the edge, and it would be a huge gamble. I'm not sure that Montgomery would be willing for him to take that gamble. A little bit of downhill line for Sink. With the pin on 13, or by the right bunker, I think you want to lay it back where you can really control your distance well. The higher, the longer you lay it back, the higher you are up on the hill and can see better as well. About 115 yards all up to the pin would be perfect position for Sink. He laid it up way down the hill yesterday, and he's done the same thing again today. McElroy has 267 into a slight breeze. This is silly. He's going to have to kill this thing to get it over the water. He's got it going right, which is a longer carry. Easily up into the bunker. But short sided himself in that bunker. That is really deep. So hard to get that one close from there. 87. Yep. Sink is 88 from this right hole location. As I stand up here left of the green, it's not dissimilar to what you would have at the 15th at Augusta downhill lie to a tough pin with a bank in front. Probably about a 70 to 74 It's set up to hit it right next to the hole. Michael Roy Bunker, remember. actually see the bottom of the flag. He's going to have to err on the short and right side. Of course, once you get to the green, that is, and it'll all feed down there. He's got a very good lie, just ever so slightly uphill, so that'll help him elevate it. He's easily nine feet below the level of the green. 21 years old and uh, faced with what is really the most crucial bunker shot of the day here at uh, Celtic Manor. Oh, no, that could be going back in again, and it is. Lucky Rory, come on! Up, Rory, go on. Go on. Well, now he's in the bunker in three. And that's a big mistake by his caddy, J.P. Fitzgerald. I just don't understand going for it with everything on the line. Ten feet below the green. He's even in a deeper position here. Oh, he's almost played it too well there. It's just at times he just fails to see the pro shot something you're just going to have to learn with experience but he always wants to be the hero doesn't he and uh, perhaps it was the wrong time relief as much as anything for Rory McIlroy. He would have felt absolutely awful if he had lost that match at 18. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.